Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Vanakam Germany. In recent days, I received many requests to make a video on topic investing in Germany. Many of us are luckily enough to have something left over in the month end for the savings. Few of us send the money to the home country and few of us are investing in Germany. Opinions on what to invest, how to invest, where to invest are many as days long. One must be aware and have a goal before investing it. As we live in Germany, we must know what are the options available for investing in Germany. The best investment you can make is the investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn. It's not told by me, it's told by Warren Buffett. The people those who are not aware about me, myself Priya, I do videos on different set of topics for the people those who are living in Germany. As I promised you in the start of the year that I am going to make a investment videos and this is going to be the first video in the investment series. And in this video I am going to share you what are the options available for investment in Germany. Come, let's get started to invest our time. When you start talking about the investment, the investment areas are wider. The investment in classical way like savings account, investment in share market, immobiliary, gold, bitcoin, fintech, etc. etc. And in this video, I am going to say the overview of all the investments and also the risk factor benefits about this investment. In my future video, I am going to show you in the each sectors in deeper way how to buy shares and how to buy immobiliers and etc. And this is going to be the overview for your crisp and clear to get the know the knowledge about the investments in Germany. First one is classic method investment. When you go and visit your bank and they will give you a three options of investing your money in bank like spare book, target girl condo, first girl condo. These three options are very very safe. There is no need to worry and there is no risk. In simple we can say it in English as savings account. For example, you can take a spare book. The spare book is an old traditional method of investment in Germany. Like your grandparents is going to the bank and depositing some amount like 100 euros in regular basis. Like in this, the interest rate is very very low. With increasing inflation rate at the end of the year, end of the period, you will get the return at very very low which is doesn't match to the investment. And this is one of the safest investment as well. Comes to the fiscal condo which is similar to the fixed deposit in India which have fixed interest rate for the duration which you have signed in the contract. The minimum duration can be 1 month, the maximum duration can be 10 years. Interest rate in fiscal condo is higher than the spare book which is one of the safest investment and it has no risk. You can withdraw the money only at the end of the duration. Coming to Tavis Girl Condo, it's one of the savings account in Germany and there is no fixed duration of time. You can withdraw the money at any point of time. There is no fixed interest rate. The interest rate is higher than the SPA when the interest rate is flexible and it varies at uh, any point of time. Like uh, in first month it will be the 1% one interest, 1 interest and the second month will be the 1.5% interest and the third month it will be the 0.5% interest. Like it varies. It has no risk and it's more flexible. There are many websites that are available for comparing the interest rate between these three options like SPA book, Tagus Gel Conto and Face Gel Conto and also you can also get to know the which bank is giving the higher interest for you. For example, if you have a thousand euro in your hand and if you don't need for this thousand euro for next two three months, you can also get benefit with this thousand euro by investing it and you can compare this with help of this website and also know the which bank is giving the higher interest rate, you can invest in that. And I have been always saying these investments are safer. The reason is Einlagish insurance, that is deposit insurance in English. Every person in every bank is get insured up to 1 lakh euros. If you are depositing 50,000 euros in your bank, then if it is in case of bankrupt, you will get your money back because you are insured up to 1 lakh euros. If uh, next we take another example, if you are depositing more than 1 lakh euros, 1 lakh 25 euros if you are depositing means, then anyhow you are insured up to 1 lakh euros, you need to take an another additional insurance of that 25,000 euros, that is yeah, Frei will it ein Lagesicherung. If you take that, then it will be secured for your purpose if it is a bankrupt. Addition to this, if you are having a joint account, one you are insured for the 2 lakh euros, 1 lakh for you and 1 lakh for your wife. In the end, if you are investing in all these categories like a Tagus Girl Conto 
of Hesgel Contos power book and also Giro Conto. If it is in case of bankrupt, you or money is safe, it will come written back to you. So next one is foreign currency account, which means you are investing euros in German bank in foreign currency like US dollars, INOs or anything else. Which gives us a very good interest rate and it has some problems like fees for exchange rate will be deducted. The profit varies according to the fluctuations currency data. Next type of investment is immobilian, which means real estate in English. Under this immobilian, there are multiple categories are available like direct investment, the people can buy houses with help of money, borrow from the bank or from their own savings and rent it further. As you could see, this kind of investment need a very huge amount where everyone cannot afford it. Additionally, we need to pay interest for the banks. The people those who cannot afford such a huge amount like 10 lakh euros, 1 lakh euros, they have an other options in the same immobilian category where you can invest a 1000 euro or 5000 euro and get benefit from the interest. There are options like open immobilian funds, closed immobilian funds, crowd investment and right, REIT, real estate investment trust. Immobilian funds is a special kind of investment funds where they are not investing in any kind of stocks or bonds. Rather, they will invest in multiple building projects. Again, in this there are two categories. Open Immobilian Funds, Closed Immobilian Funds where they will collect money from the investors and put it into the different kind of projects, building projects in different regions is the Open Immobilian Funds. Comes to the Closed Immobilian Funds where they will put it in a only one, one building project. In this, there are high returns and there is also a high risk because if in case of a project fails or any kind of a problem arises, your investment money will be whole loss. You won't get anything. And it comes to the open, your interest rate is little bit low, but it is too secure. When if in case one project is a failure and the other project will make it success, the investment rate will be equal. So it conditions upon to you whether you could choose the open or close immobilian funds. So next one is crowd investment which is a new kind of investment it's similar to the P2P investment platform where you are going to invest a little bit of amount in a particular project. There are many websites available to know this kind of investment options and the good advantage in this is it's very transparent because you know in which project you are going to invest in it and it gives you a very good interest rate around 4 percentage and also you are going to invest in a very small amount in a particular period of time like 1 year to 3 years. In this disadvantages, it's a very much high risk because if the project is get collapsed or a failures, you won't get the entire amount and also there is no Einlage Shisharam. Next one is right real estate investment trust which is similar to the open immobilian funds where the investors money is used for the buying, buying properties. Rights generate income from their property or other property assets and pass this on to the shareholders in the form of dividends. Rights on the other hand are not taxed at the company level as long as they pass on most of their property directly to shareholders. Investors have to pay dividend taxes on their income as well as capital gains taxes if they sell rights shares for profits. But avoiding corporate taxes can be the huge benefit. This is the first part of my investment video. In my second part, I am going to share you the information with the share markets, ETF, Bitcoins, gold investment and many more investment. Please stay tuned in my video and also subscribe my channel. Follow us in Facebook and Telegram. And catch you in next interesting set of topic. Until, bye bye from Vanakam, Germany. Priya.